So how in the world would she get you mixed up with somebody else? I have a twin brother. You have a twin brother? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So why didn't you tell them so they could go pick him up? That would have been a quick fix. I, I, I did. I did when I was in court. I did when oh. I was in court, but... See where, I where, think I would have done it when they were putting the click click handcuffs on me. <laughs> it's not me, it's my twin brother. We're about to watch a parole revocation hearing out of Louisiana. So he was out on parole, he violated, and now he's at risk of getting sent back to prison to serve out the remainder of his sentence. We've seen hundreds of these hearings, but we have never seen someone say that it wasn't me. It was my twin brother, and I love the way that Miss Carol Stapleton handles this case. Let's jump in and I'll unpack it. At your case, uh, yeah. Tell us what happened. Uh, I it, it was um a misunderstanding. Like I, I don't like she a friend. I know, her, but she was dating somebody else, and she she gave like the wrong name. I never, I never harmed her or did nothing to her. So they had dropped my charges to uh, disturbing the peace. You didn't have any contact with her or any uh, altercation. Oh no, sir. Okay. There was no violence or no scuffling or anything. No, sir. I see. And that's all you want to say about it? Oh, uh, yes, sir. All right. I'm going to ask my colleagues if they have any questions. Ms. Uh, Stapleton, do you have any questions? <clears throat> uh, yes, sir, I do. When I read the police report, the police came there and they could that her face was bleeding and they asked her what happened and when she explained to them that you bit her on the face so how in the world would she get you mixed up with somebody else i have a twin brother you have a twin brother yeah oh yeah. so why didn't you tell them so they could go pick him up that would have been a quick fix I, I I did I did when I was in court. I did when oh. I was in court, but see where, where I think I would have done it when they were putting the click click handcuffs on me. <laughs> it's not me, it's my twin brother. If they see his name Covell and my name Dovell, mm -hmm. I don't think she really knew our real name. But you did. Yeah, I told him I told him I was Dovell, but that's the name she gave him. Mm -hmm. so you I, didn't tell him it was your twin brother? I mean, yeah, I told him I didn't date her like he was, you know, but it wasn't nothing I, I can do. I was still going to jail, like, so. So you just took, you just took it and went? Yeah, I was, I was hoping I, I had beat it in court. Yeah, I yeah. was. But yeah. you were the one that was on parole, right? Was your brother on parole too? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if he on parole or not. I know I'm on parole. Yeah, so you had a lot more to lose to go to yeah. jail, with, didn't you? That's why I wouldn't. I wouldn't do none of it. I, I think I'd have squealed lot. I think I'd have squealed on him on something like that. Hey, I don't really be big on trying to get in trouble on parole. I really, I was paying. I was trying walking down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, they saw that she, um, that her face was bleeding, and she said that you bit her in the face, and. Um, so that there was a verbal altercation. There was an argument. And I don't know how in the world she would have gotten you mixed up with your twin brother and why you didn't let him know it was him. But that's my only question. So I'm finished. Mr. Prater, you have any questions? Yes, sir. You don't? No. Okay. Uh, I read your case and, and you have an identical twin brother? Yes, sir. I think she had wrote a statement. I don't know if y'all had got it. She had, <laughs> she had a statement in court, but we identical. Like, y'all wouldn't know as a part. He has a beard, too? Yeah. 
and he has a dick. And uh, she was dating him? Yeah. Okay, I have no more questions. We got the same mark tats on our face and everything. I got you. Same, yeah. teeth, same teeth and everything. Yeah, he, so, got, he got one goal in his mouth, too. I got you. I got you. Uh, I have no more questions. Is the panel ready to vote? Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, since I'm handling the case, uh, I'm going to vote first, and my vote is to deny. And uh, I'm sorry, to revoke. My vote is to revoke. Mr. Prater? Uh, yes, I believe the same. Uh, I'm going to concur with your vote. Revoke. Ms. Uh, and, and I concur to revoke. Okay. Uh, Mr. Davis, your request has been revoked. Your revocation has been revoked. And this will conclude our business with you today. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> okay. I mean, let's be real. This was probably one of the funniest parole revocation hearings we've seen. And, you know, to his credit, I, he, he wasn't even taking himself seriously. He's cracking up. He couldn't keep his, his face straight. And everyone's, I mean, Miss Stapleton, the faces she was making, there is classic. I mean, even Mr. Tillis got in on the action about the tattoos. And it, it was just... It was funny. I mean, we have seen it all. And I guess he just said, look, I, I know I don't have a shot at this. So I'm going to I'm just going to go in with it. It's my twin brother. And Richard provided some information. And I tell you, I did do some looking out. I was hoping we'd find his twin brother. I wanted to see him, but couldn't find anyone that looked like him with the same name. Um, so maybe he's just, you know, the only one that keeps getting in trouble. And in trouble, he does keep getting into. I mean, this one is just most wanted finally caught right this is uh back in 2018 uh, um sorry 20 2007 i don't know not such a big crime was like still in checks here's another one where this was actually quite intense because him and his buddies escaped prison um five escape prison this is 2010 and here he is i was hoping we'd see his twin brother in here as well but we didn't and it said the last f of five inmates who escaped the point a uh, detention center turned himself in thursday evening authorities reported that he surrendered at 7 30 p.m deputy said he found four others le who left the work release program so and according to the sheriff in addition to Brissy justin johnson lyndon terry blah 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 um, the four men turned themselves into the u.s marshals in baton rouge after sunrise i mean can you imagine being given the gift of work release and having like zero impulse control where you would just get up and walk away from that you're, you're putting a you're given a gift of work release and you walk away you escape that's insanity and that so many of them would think that that's a good idea and do it together just so they can turn themselves in and these aren't little kids you're talking about you know late 20s 30s like, wow, it, it just, it sends the message about, you know, if, if you cannot have impulse control to, to, to do things in your own birth best interest, then you're a danger to society. The four men turned themselves into U.S. Marshals in Baton Rouge just after sunrise. He said that uh, Torres said work release is offered to nonviolent criminals who qualify in the final three years of their sentence. He added that the men left to the, the dormitory style room and jumped the fence. His office is still investigating the accident. This is a minor setback, but I think the people of Louisiana need to understand this program is statewide program and it does work. We often see people like like with DUI cases in the work release programs. And, and we have seen people on work release that make more than 160K a year. Now they're 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 often in, in the in the oil jobs offshore on the boats. But yeah, we have seen that. Now they do have to pay for their room and board. Um, when they're making that kind of money. So there's, you know, they're, they're, and, and it's not cheap, but they are putting a lot of money away. Um, and then here's, uh, did we look at this one already? Okay. 
Here's another one. This is 2018 suspect arrested facing multiple charges of drug bust. And I wonder if this is his twin brother. You know, it's possible. But the arrest came after, you know, anyways. But it was, it was, uh, it was, it was a revocation worth hearing. Thank you, Richard, for pointing it out and saying, man, do you have to cover this one? Because that is good. And I'm thinking of putting together a highlight reel of Miss Stapleton mic drops because she is just something. And with that, I'll let you go.